Well, welcome back, everybody. I'm glad you guys are joining me today, and I feel much better. We are really only 25 subs away from hitting 226,000, so thank you guys. Uh, first of all, for all of you guys who have subbed to the uh, channel, I do appreciate it. I, I feel the support, and I really thank you guys. So let's see if we can't get that 25 over, and then hopefully we'll be doing a live stream tomorrow in celebration and, of course, talking all things politics. Uh, but real quick, we have this huge story, of course, breaking over the weekend. Of course, why would it not break over the weekend? Where we have this story about Fannie Willi uh, Willis, as we've been covering here on the channel for the last couple of weeks, right? Her improper relationship with Nathan Wade, her boyfriend, who she decided to go ahead and utilize as the top prosecutor against Trump and the other 18 associates of Trump in this RICO case, right? We've learned so much of this case already. We've known that Nathan Wade met with the White House. We know he met with January 6th Council or January 6th uh, Committee. We know he he met with the DOJ all in the lead up to the these charges being filed against President Trump in, in Georgia. And now what we're learning of even more, right, is that they stole, well, utilized taxpayer money in order to finance trips abroad and as their romantic get, uh, getaways from Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, and this is all really breaking because Nathan's ex-wife is producing the receipts. She's producing the bank statements showing that Nathan Wade was buying these plane tickets to these luxurious places and flying his woman, Fannie Willis, to these places. And, and by the way, looking at the pictures of his uh, ex-wife and him going after Fannie Willis, man, what a downgrade going after Fannie Willis like that, right? Uh, his wife was a uh, was a very beautiful woman, and him uh, taking up with this goblin looking creature. I don't know. I guess uh, I guess selling your soul really makes you do really weird stuff. Uh, so before we dive into today's story, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button if you're new here. Thanks for joining me. Allow me to share some info with you. Hopefully, you can share it with your friends and family. Smash that like button, 1,500 likes. If you like the content, you like the video, you like the channel, you can smash that join button. Become a member of the channel. Smash that super thanks if you really enjoyed the content of this channel. And overall, just make sure you hit that like button. So let's go ahead and dive into what we have here. Because uh, coming to us from the Gateway Pundit, says, Nathan Wade's extreme wife, Jocelyn Wade, unleashes on Fannie Williams in court filing and produces the receipts. Bank statements included. That's right. She included the bank statements. Goodness gracious, right? Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis is in hot water with her, of course, her lover, Nathan Wade, a strange wife, Jocelyn Wade. The Georgia Rico case against Trump might go off the rails because of Fannie Willis' improper relationship and her and financially benefited from the top Trump prosecutor she hired. As previously reported, Fannie Willis had an improper romantic relationship with Nathan Wade, a top Trump prosecutor in her office. According to the Atlanta Journal Constitution, Fannie Willis financially benefited from a romantic relationship with Nathan Wade, a top prosecutor she hired to go after Trump. Nathan Wade was brought in as a special prosecutor by Fannie Willis in 2021. To also note, Nathan Wade had no prior experience prosecuting felony cases. This dude was just a good-looking guy that she said, ooh, yeah, I'm going to hire you, and we're going to do some business together. And that's what uh, took place here. And of course, uh, we come down here to the article. Uh, on Friday, uh, Jocelyn Wade's legal counsel filed a response to Fannie Willis' request for a protective order. Jocelyn Wade produced the receipts. Jocelyn Wade unleashed on Fannie Willis. The arguments asserted by Miss by Miss Willis are disgenuous, suspicious, and her claims based for some fails as a matter of law. Upon information and belief, Miss Willis has information and knowledge directly relevant to the allegate, uh, alleged conduct of the plaintiff that would be considered by the court um, division as a material estate, uh, disposition of material assets, espousal support. Jocelyn Wade's uh, attorneys stated in a court filing reviewed by this reporter. Further war, furthermore, Miss Willis implied a uh, threat to pursue charges against the defendant and her counsel based on inconvenient facts from her personal life that are directly relevant to the ongoing divorce proceedings in the above styled action. It is an affront to the integrity of her office, Jocelyn Wade's attorneys wrote. If a non-party Miss Willis seeks protection, it appears that one she needs protection from is herself. The filing read below are the screenshots of Nathan Wade's Capital One credit card. I'm sure he got a lot of uh, bonus credit. Maybe got a few free flights out of that. <laughs> K 
Capital One, always taking care of whatever the uh, motto is for them, provided by Jocelyn Wade in the court filing, reviewed by the Gateway Pundit. Nathan Wade spent more or spent money on Fannie Willis by buying her flowers, paying for her hotels, air travel, a cruise, and Ubers. And here are the bank statements provided by the ex-wife of Nathan Wade, exposing Fannie Willis's lies. And there are more and more lies that are going to come out of this as she has to face a judge here in a few weeks in court to answer to these allegations. This is going to throw a wrench into this. You know the Biden regime is freaking ticked off that this is coming out to light. January 6th, led by Liz Cheney. I'm sure they're very upset about this as well because we have all of these cases unraveling, unraveling. Right when they need them to make sure they take hold, they're unraveling. Right there on Rowland, we have President Trump, who is going to be the nominee of the party. They understand that their main goal was to ensure that Trump could not get to the general. And here we have it unraveling already in early January. So we'll see how all this plays out. We'll con- I'll continue to keep an eye on more stories uh, focused on Fannie Willis and, and this and how this uh, case is starting to fall apart for the DOJ and, of course, the Biden regime and, of course, the ever-lovely Liz Cheney, right? Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Of course, you guys follow me on all my socials in the description down below. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Have a great, great day.